So, Craig, what I really appreciate about you, 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 you people say you, people have vision. Some people have vision. You definitely have vision. And one of the things we was up there, now, what is, there's a clock tower, a bell thing up there. There's a, this big space. They cleaned it up, and you want to do something up there. This will be the first time it's done. Tell me what's going on with that. So, you know, people have been doing things. I, this is uh, Marcus Garvey Park. It used to be mm -hmm. called Mount Morris Park. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a landmark area. Mm -hmm. The reason that this area is landmark area because there's a bell tower up there mm -hmm. on the top of the park. Mm -hmm. And that bell is one of the, that, that, that tower is one of the few towers that have survived. And what it was is where the fire people would go and watch the fires. Mm -hmm. Where the fire, they could see where the fires were and they could, mm -hmm. it was like a, a watchtower. Mm -hmm. And they have a bell up there, and they would ring the bell, and then the people would go and mm -hmm. uh, put out the fire. Mm -hmm. And so they took the they took the bell away about six, seven years ago. They refurbished it, and they they, they invested a lot of money. I think the city and I don't know maybe the state and up in there. But it's, there's a beautiful Acropolis up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean uh, slate, it's slate it's floor, slate, slate floors, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and you can see it all throughout Manhattan up there. And it's also beautiful. I, I practice up there. Because mm. it's quiet up there. Nobody bothers you. Anybody come and talking to you. So I used to practice up there. So, so rather than being under the bridge or? <laughs> on, on the tower. On the tower. Yeah, yeah. And I practice up there. And uh, it's a, just a real beautiful place. And so I've been, you know, we played up there. I've invited musicians. We play up there. It's real nice. And I said, well, why not? This would be beautiful to have people there. Because there are roadways to get up there, so I guess mm. we'd have some kind of trolleys or something to take people up to mm. up to the top of it, and it's just another beautiful venue that could be. Mm -hmm. I think it. I think this. I think this. I think the world needs it. I think the community needs it, and it's just a good place. A good place to go. I have to ask this. It's just. It's just it's, I have to ask this. Do you think when they say the concert is going to happen, will they ring the bell? <laughs> I don't know if they can. I don't know if the, I, I, that would be beautiful, Anthony, because it's, it's an incredible bell. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's. I don't know if the bell is still in the middle because I haven't seen it inside uh, of it. Uh, you know, uh, uh, they, they, of course, be interesting. Safe, safe to think started at eight o'clock. You oh, ring the bell at seven thirty. Right. <laughs> Everybody know I got to have how to get up there. Right. Oh man, unbelievable! And it's, and it's like this. You know, we're right over there, but but it's like you know. Also, there's a lot of other kind of activity goes up there at nighttime. A lot of sex activity going on. There, a lot of drug activity going on there. And so it's real funny for me because these people built this big, this big, you can pan it around this way to this big building right here. Mm. This, that overlooks, Ooh. that uh. overlooks the bell tower. Mm -hmm. and you can see everything. So those people at that time, they get a show of just, they see, <laughs> they see all the, they complain about it. Especially on, on the people on the north side. They say, we didn't move here for this, but they. they Wait a second, what are they looking out their window for? Then? That's right, exactly. <laughs> Turn on the TV. That's right. No, the television is better here in the park. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They want the live action. They're going to complain about the live action. You know, okay. You know, so, uh, but uh, it's, it's uh, uh, Anthony, we talked about it before. There's nothing like this that's creating in the place where you, where you live, your mm -hmm. domicile. Mm -hmm. it, it just, it add, you're adding to the community and it feeds. Mm -hmm. And just going up there and playing is just a beautiful thing, just, mm -hmm. just naturally. But also just to formalize it, and I know there's a new person working at the park, and I'm talking to her right now about how we can formalize having uh, events up there. And it doesn't have to be music. It could be dance up there. It could be theater. It can be so, so much. You know, and it takes away from that, uh, I guess you could say that, that, that's, that uh, set, proscenium thing kind of oh, like Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have over here the amphitheater here, but it, it, it pales to this, 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 Mm. This thing over here, they, they, and now it will be formalized. Believe me. Hopefully, we can get it done before somebody else come and do it. Because, it, but it won't be. I mean, it, you won't be charging anything. I don't know whether they, they might have to charge. Somebody got to pay for something. So oh, they, you have to pay for a musician. I understand that. You know, so, you, uh, so I mean, they could do it. Uh, you either get sponsorship, mm -hmm. or you or you can charge because it's, it's it's a ring. So, but you know, um, both both things can do it. We always love sponsorship and stuff. But but that's another thing. It's like. Uh, Accountability. Yeah. I mean, if somebody we're not, if somebody just asks you to pay five, ten dollars yeah. to come hear some music, mm. it's important that you do that. It's, mm. it's our, our accountability in our own community about that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like everybody putting five dollars like these concerts they give in the in the city or park. If everybody just put five dollars in yep, the box, yep, yep. it would we wouldn't have we wouldn't because as soon as certain the government changes and stuff like that, they cut the budgets. Yeah, so it could be self sufficient. It could be I think the way they think it's supposed to, my opinion, you're supposed to start with like that, call it your seed money, but then you're supposed to be able to kick in somehow and, and, and grow it in that. Right, so, and grow so it, yeah. and, and, and it's not, it's not asking a lot. It's like, come on, you, you're getting world-class talent.
you get a world class talent that you can go downtown and you pay 40 some dollars, sit down, and that's probably pay $200 after you leave there. And you got it right there. And, and we do that in the Brownstones too. We, do, we have contests, extension of uh, Harlem Jazz Box. We have contests on Thursday nights when, we, when we're going to get back to normal as it is COVID, because ain't nobody coming in a lot of these small places now. But we would have contests in the, in the houses. Mm -hmm. Relating to that thing about, you know, the fish fries and the house parties mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on Thursday evenings. Be nice, you know. And uh, it, uh, Harlem Jazz Box has a, a part of it is called Welcome to Harlem, which is the touring company. Yeah. Oh, OK. That's yeah, the touring yeah. company. Carolyn runs that. She, 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 you know, bring the tourists in. The tourists come in and they come in. They, I mean, it's on. If you go to our website, Welcome to Harlem, you see our, our they call it the, the music tour. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Again, again, you're out with these whacked out there. Come on, what happened to the days of barnstorming? Just asking. Just What's asking. Barnstorming? Just, just, well, barnstorming, like I said, it's usually with baseball and stuff like that. They would come to town, right? And then they would, they, they would start, Boom. they would start, you know, and then they'd be like, oh, what's going on? And they said, oh, and they're handing out flyers as they're going along. Oh, it's just going to be a baseball game. Well, just, it's just you go through wherever you go through, get attention, and then you hand out the flyers and people know what the. Yeah, that's what's a TOB, anything in the theater. Like, mm -hmm. just go through. Like, I, we, visit, we had it one time where we go from. Boston, mm -hmm. we go to New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and DC in, in houses. Mm -hmm. Listen, we're gonna be at your house Thursday oh, night, really? we're gonna be at your house Friday night, we're gonna be at your house Saturday night, we're gonna be on Sunday night. And it works geographically because there's no, it's all unless that's only between New York, I mean, Boston and DC is eight hours. I mean, yeah. so traveling like two hour clips. Yeah, and you got both, we have all those areas. Wow, I mean, well, look. Uh, Hey, do you have anything else you want to share with us? Oh, wait, it's, it's, and this hasn't started yet, so we no, should, we should say none of this. All we're just talking about it. Now. Okay, so it may even be, it may not be until next year or something like that. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, we don't okay, know. no, I'm sorry, I, but, I jumped the gun. I just. <laughs> but the concert series is going on now yeah. at uh, Harlem Jazz Box uh, uh, every Friday night at Calvary Baptist Church, which is on uh, 124th Street, 43 West 124th Street. We started at seven and we ended nine, yeah. twenty dollars, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you get like ninety minutes of world class music. Yeah. Well, what's the crusher? Is it Fifth Avenue? Was it, was it Madison? Was it Harlem, uh, uh, Mount Morris Park West, and Hundred Twenty Fourth Street? Right on oh, the I see. When you, okay, so that's actually I have to say this, people won't know that's actually between Fifth Avenue and, uh, and Malcolm X Boulevard. If you want, I'm just okay, saying. Okay, okay, okay. In other words, if you you won't see you won't see Mount Morris, you have to go to 124th Street. No, they, then, have a, they have a sign right there. That says Mount Morris Park West. I know that, but you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, but the GPS, you know. Uh, no, no, see, I'm, I'm I'm ancient school. I don't want to hear about no GPS. See, I'm ancient see, school. No, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem right there. Because because all the people want to tell me they just say give me the address and they just go click 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 click. I said boom. But yeah, but you're right, Anthony. The old school would be Fifth Avenue, but that confuses the other people. Yeah, the, yeah. the youngins. That that can because uh, Fifth Avenue starts over here. Yeah, yeah. and and con and then continues over there. Over there, yeah. the park is where it breaks up. Okay. Yeah, uh, people like. I mean, Anthony, people, this 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 technology. Come on, look what you got. We couldn't do this years ago. What you're doing now? Oh, well, it's true. Yeah. Okay. Thanks again, man. You know, I know you're hard at work these days, so uh, let me not take up too much of your time. All right. All right.